This is For Your Time by Jamie Lackey. The pamphlet arrives in your mailbox, sandwiched between the grocery store ads and the previous tenant's life insurance bill. The shiny, slick paper is thick between your fingers. Simple black letters on a dried blood background say, We will pay for your time. Inside, the explanation is long, scientific, boring. But the math is simple. They say they will take 30 years of your life, not including weekends or holidays. They'll take it in an instant and pay you for the whole thing. They don't explain how. The pamphlet doesn't cover what they do with your time once they have it. But the number is more than you'd make in 30 years anyway. Enough to pay off your student loans, your car, your mortgage, with more than enough after that to live on. You can finally take that cruise you've always dreamed of, and you can quit your job. You're already selling that time at work anyway, right? And spending every minute of it miserable, wishing it was over. So you go and stand in line behind a balding man in a suit and in front of a woman in a long cotton skirt who (sniffs) smells like patchouli. Now no one speaks to the others. The line snakes around the block and you shuffle forward one step at a time. Your palms sweat. Think of the money. Think of the money. Think of the money. Once inside, A pretty technician smiles at you and hands you a form. It's shorter than you'd expect. There's no new information, only legal paraphrasing of the pamphlet, which you still have folded and stuffed into your pocket. You sign it. You walk through another door, and a man dressed as a doctor shakes your hand. Is he a real doctor? There aren't any degrees on the white walls, and he doesn't tell you his name. All you have to do is press your palm right here. The machine is simple, sleek, white plastic with a black rectangle screen, smooth curves that look organic, and it's smaller than you'd imagined. You wonder if the whole thing is just an elaborate practical joke. Does it hurt? Doctor shakes his head. Not a bit. You hold your hand over the panel and your fingers tremble. Thirty years, gone in a moment. Thirty years that you won't experience. Not the agonizing, dragging moments. But not the in-between moments either. Your hand drops to your side. Did you do it, I ask him? The doctor shakes his head and he taps his foot on the linoleum. Listen, there's a bit of a line. You can tell he's trying not to sound impatient. The thought of the check, of financial freedom unlike any you could ever hope for, looms large in your mind. You remind yourself that it's not a full 30 years. Without weekends and holidays, it's really just, what, over 20 years? Would you do it? It's perfectly safe. No, that's not what I asked. (sighs) I don't know. Well, how does it work? Look, it's proprietary. I hate to rush you, but you can't stand here and dither around all day. You make your choice. Outside, the man in the suit sips tepid water from a thin paper cup. His thinning hair is gone and there are lines on his face from expressions that he never saw. You're not sure you made the right decision. But that's life, and you walk out the door to live it. The End